Hi everyone, welcome to Thursday. We are sitting in lovely, scenic, rainy Florence, South Carolina. Uh, today we are meeting my parents here. We're actually in the parking lot of the Mellow Mushroom. We were going to meet them here for dinner and then something happened and we could meet them here earlier, even though it's 4 o'clock, so it's not really that soon. We haven't had lunch yet either. We woke up late. Um, Mao has been on the phone with Time Warner Cable for the past 45 minutes all the way here pretty much she's been on the phone with them because you guys saw yesterday that I <laughs> tried very hard to get in touch with Time Warner Cable I don't know if I talked about it yesterday but I've actually been on the phone with them for a long time talking to different people getting thrown to different departments was terrible so Mal tried today and she got really far the first time and then got disconnected not because of her phone but because of Time Warner and I honestly you would think that a company that services telephones would do better about keeping you connected. But. It's sort of like, because it was exactly at the 20-minute mark, and it's exactly, it's sort of like at 20 minutes, like, it cuts you off. <laughs> that's all That's all the time you get with a representative, 20 minutes. Anyway, the reason we're, we're so passionately trying to pursue this is that um, with our current package deal, for those who aren't aware, our internet speed is 30 megabits per second download, 5 megabits per second upload. Pretty, pretty good internet. I'm all about the upload speed. I need something really fast because I do YouTube videos so often. So, um, we were paying 50 bucks a month and that was an introductory price. After a year, um, that price goes up to 85 bucks. Huge increase, but we were like, you know, whatever. We need it. Yeah, we have to have the speed. Anyway, I get the thing in the mail when we came back from vacation two days ago. And the thing in the mail says, hey, you are a loyal customer. Thank you for being a loyal customer. So instead of increasing your rate from $50 to 85, we're going to decrease your rate from $50 to 39. And it'll happen automatically. It'll just show up on your next bill. And I'm like, that's insane. Because honestly, we were considering going to the local company that we're, that we're going to, whenever we move to Myrtle Beach, there's a local company that services internet, has the same speeds. And uh, I was like, we were, we were just going to go to there because it'd be cheaper than doing 85 bucks. But I called, or Mal called the local company on the way here. It was like, we have 30 down, 5 up, what, what is your price for that? And their price is $50 for 6 months, and then after 6 months it goes to 70 bucks. And we're like, okay, but we're going to be paying 39 Can you do any better? And they're like, nope. And we're like, okay, bye. <laughs> so now it's like, we definitely have to get Time Warner in there and make sure that it can, they can get it set up and everything, because there's a big difference in paying 39 bucks and 70 bucks. Like, that's... That's like every month. I know every single month. So, I mean, thirty nine is is almost half of seventy. So it would be nearly half the cost if we can get Time Warner to go in there and do it. The problem is they didn't know if they serviced to the area, but we finally Mal finally got a hold of the person and got everything set up. They're actually going to go there physically, find out if they can do it, and they're doing it on the the day we move. If they can do it, they're going to go ahead and set it up. So when we get there that day, we can plug in our modem and we have internet. And we don't have to do any kind of billing change or anything. We just keep getting the billing stuff. Um, I'm assuming they updated our address to send us the bills. They know our new address. They know, yeah, they know it at least. So we'll get the new bills there and everything should be cool. If they can't do it, we'll have to pay $70 a month, but whatever. I mean, it's really not that bad considering that we thought we would have to pay 85. So I guess that's something, but this has been such a hassle, such a hassle. Anyway. Um, my parents are in the area. They just ran over to Walmart for um, something. They're going to be back here in a second, and then we're going to go eat some pizza. And I'm pretty freaking hungry, so I'm excited. Triple pretzel madness. I don't even know what the kinds are. This, this is cinnamon honey. and honey. This is honey. One of them's garlic and salt, and then something. Another. Oh, look at that. That's right. Oh, hey, you guys are here. They're high. They're, they're, they're alive and we're eating these. We should probably figure out how to break these up into smaller bits. A knife is a useful tool. I'm gonna let you do it. You wanna go play in the rain? No, I'm good. I think I'll, I'll live without. It's been, thun it's been thundering really, really loudly out here. Like, shaking the tables loud. Huh? Yeah. But I guess now that it, it's, it did that once or twice, I've missed it completely. We're still outside, though. It's more exciting to we eat moved. pizza in the rain, huh? We moved. Yeah, we were we were over there, and we were starting to get wet, so we moved. That is good stuff, for the record. And I'm pretty sure we did this the last time, too. Me and my dad got the house special. It's got a bunch of good 
good stuff on it. What's, that's the Magic that's Mystery, the Tour? Mystery Tour? Yeah, but they did red sauce instead of pesto. And no jalapenos. And no jalapenos because they're not big into that. And it is rainy day pizza. <laughs> Look at that! It's so crazy! I can't even see over there because it's like, there's so much water. We, um, we brought them a lot of stuff that we were going to give them to take back home because we're moving and it's going to be convenient if we just give it to them. And uh, I don't think we're going to be able to unload our, van, or our SUV into their van. So we actually talked about just switching vehicles because it might be more convenient. It's uh, kind of difficult in this rain. Everything's going to get all wet. So it's still raining. We came underneath this at Home Depot because we got paint anyway. And we switched out our vehicle with their vehicle under the canopy. It was Mal's idea. She was like, hey, we should switch them out under the canopy at Home Depot and we wanted to get paint anyway, so it's a good excuse. And I was like, you are a genius. So we went in there. Do you have the thing to show what no, kind I of don't. paint we got? Oh. We just we got something really neutral, pretty pretty much. We got something really, really neutral because we didn't wanna have anything crazy. So we didn't get anything crazy. And, uh, kind of like the color of the air on the coals. Sort of, yeah. Uh, but anyway, um, so we, we got some paint, and uh, then we put the, our cars under there and switched to the stuff. So now we have a crap load of boxes. It looks like we have the same amount of stuff that we did. It's but just it's all boxes. Boxes. It's not weighing my car down. And they've got all the stuff that we gave them. We gave them a lot of stuff, you know, an entire car full. So. It was good, though. We don't have to do it later, though. Yeah, now it's there. And uh, we're good to go. Why am I driving to Olive Garden? Where am I going? I'm already lost. Anyway, so uh, now um, it's still early in the night, 6.30. We'll be back home by 7.30. And um, back to Columbia to get stuff done. Yeah, pretty much. We've got, we got stuff to do. So now it's time to go back and get more stuff done. You can't take a left turn here. <sighs> Darn it. That looks problematic. Wow. I wonder if that just happened. It was really windy and stuff. Yeah, maybe. That had to have happened today because Home Depot wouldn't let that. There's stay another like one that. up there. That's also fallen. Looked like it. Looks like something else went through the fence on this side. Yeah. Wow. That thunderstorm earlier was pretty powerful. Jeez. <laughs> I won it. Okay. We're celebrating. Actually, this is a celebration. Oh. Oh come on. We know. It's a celebration of the car reaching 100,000 miles. Because right now, my, my odometer says 99996. One, two, three, four, six. Yeah, that's it. So in four miles, I'll be rolling over to the big six digit number 100K. 100,000 miles in my car. Which is pretty cool. I didn't get the car new. I think when I got it, it had 60,000 on it, maybe? I think it had 60,000 miles, I think. So I've put 40,000 miles on it in only a few years. Since sophomore year of college. Wow, really? No way, I must have had more than 60,000. Cause that seems like, that's a lot. That seems high. I don't know, also it's still raining. But anyway, yeah, soon and very soon, we're gonna, we're gonna roll on over. Yeah! 100,000! Uh! You can move your hand now. Matt was filming that, not me. I, I think it would be a little much to try to drive eat, and film at the same time. That would be that would be my limit. Yeah! 100,000! 100K. Awesome. Anyway, um, now we're going to go home. we got we got to record some more Demo Fridays tonight. We've got to do some mail opening videos. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get it off. Uh, it's already been a long enough vlog day and i get a lot of vlogs to catch up on. So going to stop it here, but thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, let's be back tomorrow, shall we?